Hello and welcome to Bible Class with Naya. This is episode three and today we're going to be looking into Bible translations, Bible versions and Bible features. There's so many different words that we use when we talk about different Bibles, such as King James Version, New International Version, Study Bibles, Women's Bibles. But what is a translation? What are features and what are versions of the Bible? Sometimes it's very confusing when we compare a version of the Bible to another and the text reads slightly differently. And it's hard for us to understand which is correct and which is true and also which one is best for us to use. Today I'm going to explain the difference between translations, versions and features and hopefully make some things easier to understand. Or maybe you're looking for a new Bible. The type of Bible that's right for you depends on who you are. There's no specific Bible that works for one type of person. We're all different and we learn in different ways. So we're going to begin by looking into the translations. When theologists are translating the Bible from the original text, the original Bible was written in Hebrew, Aramaic or Greek. They choose which translation philosophy they follow. The first type of translation philosophy is formal equivalence. This is a literal translation of the Bible known as word for word translation, translating from the original text to the chosen language. An example of this that we use today is the English Standard Version or the King James Version. The second type of translation philosophy is dynamic or functional equivalence. This translates the meaning of the text and is known as thought for thought translation. This aims to make the Bible easier to understand. For example, the New International Version or the Message Translation. The third type of translation philosophy is optimal equivalence. This is a combination of both word for word and thought for thought translation. For example, the Holman Christian Standard Bible. The translation of the Bible refers to the language and the method of translation as explained before, while the Bible version is the type such as the Message Amplified, New International Version. From one translation of the English Bible, you can find many different versions and that explains why there's so many different types of Bible around today. Our language changes over time and words that meant one thing before can mean something completely different today and this causes the need to update different versions so they're easier to understand in the language that we use now. For example, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17 in the King James Version says pray without season. In the Holman Christian Standard Bible, it says pray constantly. In the New International Version, it says pray continually. In the Amplified Bible, it says be unceasing and persistent in prayer. In the Passion Translation, it says make your life a prayer. This is the same verse in English translations of the Bible, but different words are used in each version to convey the same message. And that message is to keep praying always. Along with choosing the correct Bible version for yourself, you should look into other features that Bibles have. The biblical text will be the same as those from the same translation and or version, but there will be different features. For example, some Bibles have red lettering where the words of Jesus or God are printed in red or study Bibles include scholarly information such as cross references like the context or maps, explanation of key words or a concordance. You can find these in many different versions such as ESV, KJV, NIV. The features are what make Bibles different. A Bible concordance is an index to the Bible. It has a list of different words and names of places or people featured in the Bible and references where you can find them. For example, the word authority is featured a lot throughout the Bible and the Bible concordance lists where you can find those verses. For example, Matthew 7 verse 29 says, because he taught as one who had authority and not as teachers of the law. You can also buy a Bible concordance separately. There are note-taking journaling Bibles that come with space at the sides for writing and drawing and so many more. I would recommend Bibles with book introductions. The Bible is one book made up of 66 smaller books as we discussed in a previous video. The book introductions explain and detail the author, they explain the meaning of the title and have dates, outlines and the context. Reading the Bible helps us 
reading the Bible in context helps us to delve deeper into God's word. And that is my hope for this video series, that it will help us as a church, as a people, as a body of Christ, to just dig that bit deeper into the word of the Lord. And not only do we gain understanding of the background information, but that we also develop that passion and that we can grow from this too. I currently use the Holman's Rainbow Study Bible in the New International Version, NIV. This is a very different type of Bible because all of the verses are colour coded into 12 main categories such as salvation, love, evil, history. It also has the Word of God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit underlined. This is the perfect Bible for me because colour makes things stand out and it helps me to remember. It has cross reference in scriptures in the middle and book introductions. I like to make notes when I read, but this isn't a journal in Bible, so there's not space at the side for note taking. Instead, I like to make notes in what I call my prayer journal. This is just a separate notebook specifically for the purpose of note taking when reading your bible and or recording your prayers what is cross-referencing a cross-reference um cross-references are the stars or numbers or letters of the alphabet listed next to the words in the scriptures that lead you to another scripture that has important information in another place for example genesis 1 1 says in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth this verse is cross-referenced with john 1 verse 1 and it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god john 1 verse 1 is also cross-referenced with revelation 19 verse 13 and it says he is dressed in a robe dipped in blood and his name is the word of god the verses here aren't the same but they are linked in that they help us to understand who the word of god is and that jesus was with god in the beginning when we cross-reference, we understand how the scriptures are linked and that helps us to see and understand God in a different way. The scriptures are all linked together because they all come from the one true living God. I hope that you've been encouraged and been blessed by this video. I would love to say so much more, but I just want to say thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. God bless you.